How we roll. Hey, babe. Woo! Faster! Push! Woo! Babe, you are just crushing this road. Whoa. What's that? This road. I made you a bowling alley. <laughs> Actually, it's not a bowling alley. The only thing this looks like to me is 18th tee box at Augusta National. <laughs> I have wanted my whole life to play Augusta National. I don't want to go watch the Masters. I want to go play in it as a player. And instead, I'm putting all my golf skill into gardening and living off the grid and martial arts. Yeah, this but looks amazing. These guys are everywhere. Oh my god, that's a monster. Monster. Ooh. Banana slug, right? Yeah, banana slug. Ooh, slugs are not my favorite. They're everywhere. Like everywhere. We had to like watch our step. They like wood chips. They're like breaking down the earth. <clears throat> yeah, but they're not great for the garden, so. How I look so young, I, I rubbed their slime in my face. Ew. This configuration right here. Is that a stump? Yeah, it's like a massive um, stump on top and like a massive root system that's probably decades, decades, decades old. Wow. So strong. That's cool. We gotta incorporate that into the garden somehow. For sure. <laughs> Thank you. 
a huge downpour today and yesterday. When I say huge downpour, you guys have no idea. <laughs> it's raining so much. If you guys haven't heard me already, this place gets, you know, over 70 inches of rain a year. Over 70 inches of rain a year. It's truly a rainforest and um, it's been really favorable weather since we've been here for uh, over three months now. It's been sunny and it's been nice and dry and a lot of the residents are actually, the residents of this area are actually kind of worried about forest fires. So this rain is welcomed. When it does rain, it rains like crazy and it's just not letting up. Good thing for me though, because I have to clear this road and so far it's looking pretty good. I'm having to pull out all of the roots because I don't want any of these salmonberry bush roots or alder roots to uh, poke the tires of our vehicles and pop them. So what's great about this rain is that it's softening up the ground, softening up the roots, and I don't need a chainsaw, I don't need anything other than my hands. I'm just pulling them out by hands, um, uprooting these guys, and if they're too strong for me to pull out, like 10% are too strong, I'm just um, cutting them with the loppers as low to the ground as I can. in between three trees. <laughs> There's no way.
most ripe one and perfect, actually the most perfect one. What are you filming me for? I don't know. My battery's gonna die anyway, but what'd you find? It's the most ripe and like perfect looking salmon berry yet. Because the other ones have been eaten by birds. I've only been having like ones that are slightly changing from yellow to like orange, so. Mm. Ooh. Don't be weird. <laughs> you wanna try half? Sure. Ooh, pretty. Thank you. Not as good as a raspberry. No. Like, not even. Like it's it's a berry, a very seedy, and just like blandly sweet. Vajoa. Mm -hmm. Vajoa. Pineapple guava, guayaba de pina. Oh. It's the flowers of pineapple guava. They are supposed to grow really well here, just like. In New Zealand, and um, it's flowering. You know, it's still in a pot. Mm. But it's got our rainwater now, and our seaweed, and our nutrients, and they're sweet. Like um, that's a really good one. You should have to try this one. Okay. It's so pretty. Describe the taste. Um. Like vanilla, it's kind of like um, like a sweet vanilla. I don't know. It's not like a strong taste because it's really wet from the rain. Yeah. Um, but but that like makes it juicier. Yeah, I don't get like a whole lot of flavor though. Mm. But I've had some that have a lot of flavor. Wait till they're in the ground and they have. Yeah. The good compost. They're really. It's sweet. Like I get like a sweet aftertaste, but I know it could be stronger. And then yeah. we'll save the center red part and see if they grow into actual fajoas. Fajoas? Yeah, it's That's called a fajoa. I, I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my mind's going somewhere bad. <laughs> oh my God. So anyway, so I have been working my butt off trying to make this feel more like a home and we finally got a dresser. So can I show them? Sure. Okay. But over here we have the closet, our clothes and everything for right now. And we finally got like our piece, like a piece of furniture which is our dresser. We have this dresser in Phoenix. I actually got it for free. Um, someone was throwing it away and I was like, mm -mm, heck no, I'll take that. Um, so we got that from the storage unit yesterday. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'll just give you guys a quick little tour. So here we have like the sitting chilling area with all my yoga stuff turned this way. We have our bed. I know this is like really silly to be excited about, but it's kind of exciting. And you got new socks. 100% cotton. Whoa. But he's sitting on a brand new mat. Yay. <laughs> so less dirt gets in. <laughs> Remember these boots, the vegan leather? Yes. So day one, I had them. This one, the grommet fell out. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking like, these are going to be crap quality. Um, but they're actually pretty good. They're actually, they're, besides that grommet falling out, they've held up pretty well so far in about a month and a half. But um, yeah, I wish they were steel toe. Yeah. But they're, they're decent. And are we getting ready to go outside to work on the road? Yes, I'm going to de-stumpify that road so that today we can um, back the truck with the stove right to this door mm -hmm. and just slide the stove in here onto a floor dolly and roll it in position. Yes. Then I can measure and know how much extra chimney I have to get. We can put wood in there and turn it on. Yeah. So I ended up doing just a wrap with guacamole, refried beans, and peppers, and all that fun stuff. Um, but it actually looks pretty good. Turned out, turned out pretty good. What do you this think? This is going to be delish and the bomb. Oh yeah? You made guac, mushrooms, sweet peppers, black beans. I'll put some uh, tapioca flour, vegan cheese on there, and some sriracha. Bam! And I'm gonna put all kinds of other spices like garlic. There's also moringa powder, moringa powder in the guacamole and what? Um, flaxseed. What? Are you serious? Yeah. In the guac? Yeah. Babe. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> the car door this morning, and see this guy. What are you doing in our car? I think you are very confused too.
Ready to jump out there. Gotta go back into the wilderness. You don't want to leave the car, do you? There you go. See ya. Hey, thanks for the help there. You're welcome. You did it. Yeah. It's cleared. <laughs> this is a big project. We did pretty well here. Yeah. You can see the yurt all the way. It's very nice. There's still little details that we have to do, like the swamp area and stuff, but and, like so the, the truck big doesn't stumps, sink. But wow. All right, wood Good. stove time. Well, hummus time. We're gonna make hummus first. Let's make some hummus. All right. I'll make you hummus. Bye. Bye.